morning, everyone. Moo watch. Who's this All right, so I'm deviating a little bit from the path. All right, good morning, everyone. So today it's raining, like a lot, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over two bridges, so it should be exciting, and I'll catch you soon. Oh yeah, so one of the things I did want to say was um, this rain jacket is like really good because it's Under Armour, and I feel like the rain just like kind of rolls off of the jacket, and also when the clothing underneath always feels like it's super dry. So I think that's what this jacket is like super dry um, rain jacket. So I would highly recommend this Moo watch that I got, like an Apple Watch. It's really good because I get to play music while I'm running. However, it's giving some crackling noises. Um, and I don't know if it's because it's raining right now, but I'm gonna take it off and put it in the jacket because it'll stay dry. I don't know if it's because it's raining and that's why it's not working or it's the connectivity issues uh, with the watch. It's possible, but I'll have to test it out later. And by connectivity issues, I mean like with the Bluetooth, it's possible that it's happened before, like, but it hasn't lasted as long where the connectivity with the audio It'll be like crackly if maybe you're not like that close to your phone, you know? But I'll update you guys. Oh, and I have a video about the watch itself. You guys will be able to see a little bit more about the watch another time. So another thing I was gonna recommend it's when it rains, I usually like wearing shades. It doesn't have to be particularly this one. I always feel like it doesn't bother me when I run and it protects my eyes from the rain, so 100% recommend. We're approaching the K Bridge, which you guys saw before in the running challenge with the North Brooklyn Runners. But I didn't want to say that this light that I got from Smoo works so well. You can't really see it right now because it's not dark, but it works so well. And I actually have another video on it that I'm going to be posting later in the future. So. Stay tuned for that as well. And it's a little lit up, but when I really cover it in the dark, you can really see the light. And at nighttime when I run, I already did it once, works perfect. Woo. K Bridge, we're back. I checked the weather, it said it was like 14 miles per hour wind. So it's pretty windy on the bridge, 50 degrees, probably because it's raining in the community, so it's not that cold. Oh, and also, with sunglasses, but aren't they gonna fog up? Well, there's a lot of ways to go about that. You can either give it a rest for a little while, like this, like adjust them, but they're just a little foggy, but they're not obstructing my vision. So it's up to your discretion whether you want to use sunglasses or not because of those reasons. You're also probably wondering what time it is right now. So it's seven in the morning, and actually I'm gonna try to finish this run relatively quickly because then I'll be able to do one of my friends has a speaker that he wants to use for tonight to celebrate one of his friends' celebrations. Let's try to finish this run up real quick. All right, so that was the K Bridge. And I didn't want to mention that underneath this bridge, there's a skate park. And I feel like it's a little hidden because I don't know when that no one was there. I mean, obviously it could just be coincidental, you know, timing and everything. But I have another video that I'll be posting later in the future. I know I keep saying that. But stay tuned for that video as well because I want to share, you know, like what you can see when you go through your runs, you know, like this. Amazing. Also, perfect weather. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Once I always run in like boring, like sunny weather, you know what I'm saying? So when you get off the Cape Bridge, you're going to see this very amazing monument right here, this graffiti art. Beautiful. I always like to see, you know, graffiti art like this around the city. It's just so beautiful. I'm hoping if I'm ever able to uh, film more videos, that I'll be able to show you guys more of this art that's around here. It's really beautiful. All right, so I'm deviating a little bit from the path just because I thought this is kind of cool in the rain with the park. Uh, Which park is this, you know? Not entirely sure. But it'll show up on when I put up the map later. For where I ran. You know what the nice thing about running at seven in the morning is, or like in the morning in general? Oh, so there won't be that many people around. So it'll be better for you to like run. In general, there's more space and then everyone's happy, so. Awesome. Runners, you, you guys understand. I gotta be honest for a minute, I got lost for a minute, but we're approaching the second bridge. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that these sunglasses, actually, I got them from Timu as well. So this video is not sponsored by Timu. I just feel like the products that I bought from them so far have been working. Of course, this will be in a later video, so I'll show you guys 
and talk about it more later. Whew. Here we are, second bridge. Generally totally sidetracked here, but what I find cool about this bridge is that it has these steps that you can go all the way down to the ground level, uh, all the way down there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, we're heading back soon, and then I'll be able to make that uh, speaker exchange that I wanted to do. Uh, I actually did not check the mileage, but I thought the construction looked pretty cool. Okay, I was able to check the mileage. It's five miles in. And we're over here at this, like, train stop. Whew. We're going to make it to make the exchange for the speakers. All right, so that's the end of the run. Distance 5.47, pace at a 7.30 pace, and we are back. And just in time to make the exchange underneath uh, the train. There's a lot of runners out there. We're actually run better in like extreme conditions, different weather conditions. And I feel like I'm one of those runners who, like, you, you would think that you wouldn't run better in a race when it's raining, right? And, uh, compared to the same course when it's sunny and dry. But actually, sometimes it just happens. Maybe it has to do with the mentality you are in and how you're just running the race and how you just put your mindset into it. It's like, okay, like, it's raining, so. Let me still give him my all. Show me.